The number one is Wood River 150740W. The Wood River 150740W uses the weight of its heavy, cast iron body to stabilize it while cutting. It features an adjustable sole that controls the depth and angle of the cut, instead of having to position and fasten the blade. The price is around $60, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 25 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.8 stars, a customer said. Came sharp and ready to use. Well made with a good feel and heft. Expect it to last a long time. Another happy customer said. If you are considering a $10 to $35 spoke shave step up to this one. I have a Stanley spoke shave and the Wood River is a far superior product, worth every penny. An unhappy customer said. The adjustment of both the blade and throat are by the loosen and tap method. The two sets of screws one set knurled, the other slotted are clamps, not adjusters. The machining was decent quality, except the foot and the flat of the blade appeared to have been hand-dressed together, to make them look shiny and sharp, both showed grain running across the tool, not in line, as a proper pre-sharpening should appear. Both were slightly unflat. Flattening the small blade was a chore. After correcting the problems, and slowly adjusting the blade, the tool works for the gentle seat back curves I wanted to create. But I know it will take much of the same effort again to handle the next shape I want to cut. I guess I felt mislead by the prominent brass adjuster screws this isn't like other spokeshaves that are adjusted that way. The next product on our list is. Stanley 12951. The Stanley 12-951 comes with a cast iron body and a well-ground flat base. This, along with a very sharp blade, allows it to slide smoothly over the workpiece, which minimizes possible chattering, while cutting thick shavings. The price approximately $26. The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 518 customer reviews, a customer said. I needed a spokeshave for a project and since I could not afford to buy top brands such as Lie Nielsen or Pinnacle which are machined to the highest standards, I decided to purchase Stanley 12-951 that seemed the best value among the cheaper brands. When I received the tool, I discovered that the back of the throat plate had not been ground flat and therefore I had to use some elbow grease to grind it flat myself, as it is shown in the pictures. Another advantage of the top brands is that their blades are made of A2 high-speed steel, which is supposed to hold the edge longer and do not need to be sharpened as often. I discovered that I could buy a replacement blade made of A2 steel by IBC that would fit the Stanley tool. Both blades are well machined and flat, although the IBC blade is a little thicker, which I think it does not matter for a spokeshave as much as it matters for a plain iron. Although both blades are sharp enough to cut out of the box, what most people do not realize is that all cutting tools made of steel need. Another happy customer said. I found a few spoke shaves in various price ranges, a couple brands I was familiar with and almost purchased except that they had unfavorable customer reviews. Others were just ridiculously expensive and while I'm sure their quality is outstanding it's just a spoke shave. In the past I had several Stanley brand and even some Asian knockoffs, all were purchased used. I never had much luck with them until I finally learned how to sharpen and hold them. I can't say I had any complaints about the Stanleys but customers were not generous in their reviews so I passed initially. One day there was an advertised sale and I couldn't argue about the price so I ordered one figuring I'd get no more than I paid for. When it came in it was definitely a Stanley tool, not a brag about tool but stout and well made. I polished up the sole and dressed the iron's edge, a couple minutes altogether. I got more than I paid for, can't say that I needed better. An unhappy customer said. 
I was excited to receive this today, and immediately took the blade out, flattened the sole, then sharpened the blade. Then I put the blade back in only to see that this spokeshave has a mouth that is too narrow where the blade should rest, causing the blade to ride towards the top of the mouth. Extending the blade just causes it to hit the front top of the mouth. At first I thought I just didn't have the blade positioned properly, but I took photos showing how the corners of the mouth are rounded and I would have to spend a great deal of time trying to file them down just to allow the blade to fit as it should. I'm giving Stanley another shot and I just started a return to exchange my bad one for, hopefully, one that will actually be able to shave. Maybe I just got unlucky, but this item obviously wasn't tested or submitted to any quality control checks. So one star until Stanley can show me that it deserves more. The next product in our list is Pinnacle 151. The Pinnacle 151 is equipped with long-lasting, A2 steel blades, which are known for their combination of stability and hardness and its stainless steel body is lighter and stronger than cast iron models, with inherent anti-corrosion properties. The price approximately $120. This product has averaged 2.9 stars from more than three customer reviews, a customer said. Great value, comfort and quality. I didn't see any light reflecting on my blade edge. I personally believe my particular spokeshave blade approximately 25 degrees is sharp enough to use right out of the box. I took the time to make very fine adjustments using the knobs when making fine blade adjustments I focus on making shavings. I personally found increasing the blade depth gradually works best. When the blade depth is wrong the user will know. Pulling toward user gently rock the radius spoke shave sole until the blade makes contact with the wood. When combined with patience, practice and technique my results have improved sometimes a few shavings get caught in the mouth. An old toothbrush or thin cereal box cardboard easily gets them out. An unhappy customer said. This is unacceptable. By Ly Nielsen, Veritas, or Dave's Shaves. It may cost a few bucks more, but that's better than spending money on anything less. You can spend less on a flat spoke shave if you want. But this. Don't do it. The number 4. Kunz 51R. The Kunz 51AR is great for concave surfaces, where models with flat soles might produce too much chatter. It comes with nicely machined brass adjusters that are easy to operate, and the powder coating on the frame helps protect against corrosion. This product is available on Amazon for $27, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has averaged 3.6 stars from more than 79 customer reviews, a customer said. This is my first round bottom spokeshave so I can only compare it to the flat bottom spokeshaves I'm very familiar with. Upon arrival I did a standard tune-up which included flattening the back of the blade and sharpening it with progressive stones to a 6000 grit water stone. I also smoothed the machining on the base and waxed it so it would glide smoothly on wood and not rust. It appears to me to be well made with a fit and finish appropriate for a tool in this price range. Overall I'm quite satisfied with the machining of the tool and the blade. It did take some trial and error and practice to figure out how this guy works best for me. It takes some bit more finesse to use this tool than my flat bottom spoke shaves. I find it helps in many situations to skew the cutting angle and to sort of roll into the cut, accepting small initial cuts at first and repeating several strokes before trying to reset the blade. It really demands an understanding of the wood's grain direction and some patience, but before long I was getting satisfying shavings most of the time. The 
Another happy customer said, If I had paid $100 for this spokeshave I may have only given it 4 stars or perhaps 3 and a half stars based on value for price. But at one fourth of that, this is a great tool. After reading the negative reviews here and on other sites, I inferred I would have to do a lot of tuning and maybe even modify it to make it useful. I might even have to toss it or return it. I decided to gamble on it because I really didn't want to spend $100 if I could get a useful tool for $25 even if it took a little bit more than the usual setup of flattening and honing. Sure, the $100 version is a lot prettier which counts for something but I just wanted a functional tool. The first thing I noticed is that the machining on the face was a little rough, properly shaped but grinding, machining marks I figured they would add friction and make the spokeshave harder to draw. A few stroke on a diamond stone solved that in hurry. Next I did the usual, flattened the back of the iron and honed the edge, another 5 minutes. I reinstalled. The next one is, Irwin Record A151. The Irwin Record A151 features a notched blade guide for the adjusters, which allows for small depth changes. This guide can be locked in place, so that the pressure produced when using it does not force the blade to retract. This product is available on Amazon for $28. This product is rated with 3 stars from 22 customer reviews, a customer said. My husband is a custom surfboard shaper and he absolutely loves his new shaver. What an amazing thing to get this new English item through Amazon. Another happy customer said. I have some already and got these for students. An unhappy customer said. I was under the impression that this tool was made in England. That is the implication given in the description. However after receiving it, and also the convex bottom bottom one, I have discovered that such poor quality tools could not possibly have been produced in England. The quality is rock bottom, and I have discovered that I could have purchased tools of the same poor quality made in China for less than half the price I paid for these. I recommend that if you want to buy tools of this quality that you just buy them from Grizzly. At least they admit that nearly all of their tools are made in China or Taiwan. I am very disappointed in the fact that tools nowadays are sold by such deception. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.